This is Amy Fong with Everest Group. I am back to speak with Sakshi, one of my colleagues from our uh, global sourcing team. And we are going to deep dive into our category strategy templates, uh, specifically around the total cost of ownership models. Uh, Sakshi, can you tell us a little bit more about that tool and where the data comes from and how we can use it? Sure, thanks Amy and hello everyone. Um, so Amy will bring, will bring up the slide shortly, but really the total cost of ownership model is very important as often buyers only look at the supplier fee in a services sourcing environment. However, in the services space, there are, there are certain additional hidden fees or invisible costs at play. So for example, uh, cost incurred in governing suppliers, as well as ensuring that the day-to-day -day delivery happens uh, the relationship and account management cost, uh, those are some of the costs that are not included in the supplier fee and may be overlooked. Uh, similarly, as you're, as you're building the TCO you know, model, uh, you also need to take into consideration the productivity benefits, you know, any count, kinds of discounts and rebates. So the bottom line is just looking at the supplier fee may not be sufficient and understanding the total cost of ownership of that outsourcing relationship uh, is pretty important for category managers to take uh, more robust decisions. Uh, in terms of the data, it, it actually resides you know, within the buyer organization. However, the challenge is most buyers do not track and allocate costs in a manner which can give them a TCO view for every spend category. Um, so with a slightly programmatic approach, these costs can be tracked. However, if an organization does not have a way to identify these costs, uh, there are external benchmarks that are available that can be used to understand the TCO view. Thanks, Sakshi. That's really helpful. You can see that the, the yellow on here are really the subcomponents and the, uh, the amounts that we suggest that uh, the user, the category manager inputs in here. These are the buyer input slides that are part of this category template. Uh, we also have on the next page a breakdown of the cost structure, specifically of the supplier fees. Uh, these are, you know, numbers that are a, I would say, an industry average. They're not specific to one uh, provider, uh, but we base it on one very common role. In this case, the example is a senior voice-based uh, agent in Manila, uh, based in Manila, and. Uh, you know, we look at what is the typical breakdown across technology, salaries and benefits, facilities costs, margin, general and GNA expenses. Uh, every provider has a you know a breakdown of these costs that are in their in their uh, pricing, and we just want to help to give an idea of what's made up of that supplier fees or what makes up that supplier fees. Uh, it's a really common breakout within a TCO model, and we have a pricing assurance practice that has a lot of data to support this. So we thought this was a really interesting or, and useful way to break it down. Yeah. So again, that's uh, just a snapshot of one component of the category strategy templates. In this case, we took a look at the uh, contact center customer experience uh, category strategy. And I uh, look forward to speaking more with Sakshi on other parts of this, as well as the rest of the team. Thanks, Sakshi. Thank you, Amy.